It is only 24 days left until competition. Every day is getting closer. That's good. I'm more ready than ever, I think, for competition. I'm in my best shape. I had some problems with my freestyle bar, but when it comes to statics, I'm definitely in my best shape. Today I'm also training a bit earlier, and it's a planche workout, so I'm expecting it to be pretty good. High energy, and there also might not be too many people in the gym, so I can actually film from the best angles. <sighs> but there we go. It is time for the push session. I did swip them switch the workout so yesterday was a pull one and today instead is the push feel way more energized and in general push takes way more strength of me so i need to be fresh or if i had the possibility to choose i want to be fresh when i do the push workouts so therefore i changed and i think it's a good idea because i feel way stronger today and hopefully it will show in the workout let's begin with some uh, supinated planche push-ups probably gonna hear me say Planche, I'm gonna say planche sometimes. Yeah, it's most likely those two. I mean the same thing. I don't know which one though that it's the right thing to say. Is it planche or planche? Everyone knows what I mean and that's the main thing. But just like last session, I'm gonna do push up, mark the hold, and then another push up, mark, push up, mark. And I think it actually was regarding this one I did get some comments about the breathing that were really good. I love that when people give comments that are like truly good in a you know positive feedback way because this I didn't think of at all. When it comes to breathing especially in this one I want to breathe in when I'm going down because that's when I'm not putting pressure on the body and then I want to breathe out when I'm doing the push motion because that's when I'm actually putting on some pressure on the muscles. So I'm gonna try to think about that this time. Saying I'm gonna do it is one thing, then actually doing it is another thing. Since obviously my body does the other thing unconsciously, so I really need to think about it if I wanna get it right. I think I got the breathing right, but damn, I feel, I feel like heavy or something. Not necessarily weak, but I just feel like I don't have the full connection. It might just be that it's the first set of the day. I guess we'll see. It always is like this. Start off with some pretty weak reps or sets, and then mid-session or towards the end, you start to understand that it's actually getting pretty good. Fucking hell! Ah, it's the holes. It's like the muscles are just like no connection. I don't know. Weird. Because I told you in the car, I like my mind is pretty good today. I feel fresh, but clearly my muscles are saying something else. Fuck it. We have one more set. Maybe the final one is the one that we will perform on. Ah. So it's frustrating when you have bad, bad workouts. Absolutely suck. I've only done two sets though, so I'm not gonna judge the workout yet, but I need to get in the mood, I need to get the feeling. So hopefully, if this set is not good, hopefully the next exercise I feel a bit stronger and maybe the, then get, I get into the feeling or the good mood again. Let's put on a banger and uh, slay. The breathing. Uh, fuck! <sighs> so weird how your body is one work that is good and you feel strong and then it's just shit. <sighs> hate it. <sighs> but let's push through. So damn funny. And now it's not like it's easy workouts either. Next up it's full planche press to one arm handstand. 
Okay, come on, Simon. I spent the last five minutes just taking these ones here and listening to motivational speech. That's something I do sometimes when I just need to get reminded. Doesn't necessarily have to be regarding me, but just listening to people sounding motivating can help. It's been working from time to time, so hopefully it works this time as well. But now I'm actually gonna do the plunge, plunge press to one arm. I need uh, rough music as well. <clears throat> it could have worked. <laughs> it felt like shit, but I do think I actually performed it decent, so better than I thought. Especially for the planche press now. I, I really have to get into this, this zone of just pure anger almost. That's why sometimes it's hard to vlog <laughs> that part, because I need a few seconds where I just shut up and just almost look deep inside of me and feel like, okay, I can do this. And then usually it works, or I gain some strength from it. But of course, I still don't know how, I, how the form was, but I hope it was decent at least. Let's see if we can get a good enough attempt on this one as well. Far from perfect, but that is as close as, as close as I can get. I'm literally taking power from what in me that I didn't know I had. Because in the start of this workout, it just, I just felt so damn weak. Still feel weak, like, <sighs> this is boring training. It may, of course, I'm still doing really heavy stuff, but when I compare myself to where I usually train, or how it usually feels, this sucks. Part of this journey. So I'm glad I'm filming, so you know that I'm struggling a lot, probably more than I actually you know, thrive or what you, what you call it. But either way, let's do one more set. If I get a bit mad, which I am right now, slightly, and then of course I exaggerate a bit, but when I get a bit mad, it always gives me some extra power, and that's usually what I need, like this. I actually did three plunge presses, not beautiful form or anything, but I did them, <laughs> feeling like shit. And uh, that's, the, that's the thing, that's the mentality. Might need it for a few other ones, just get all stone face, look scary as fuck and then go for it. I feel like I've been a bit negative, so I wanna say two good news. Or two things that are good, just to get up the mood a bit. First thing is, I will film a freestyle vlog on Thursday, so in two days. The only thing that could stop is if it's just pouring down rain, because it's gonna be an outdoor sesh. But if it's coming small, small rain, <laughs> or if it's raining just slightly, I will still do freestyle, but if it's raining a lot, those plans might change, but otherwise I will do a vlog on freestyle. That's been requested a lot. The other good thing is that is regarding the community. We are getting more and more people actually joining the waitlist. So the interest is just increasing. And this means that I am 99% sure that I will do this because 
it's definitely more than enough people now to make it happen and to feel like what I'm doing is worth it. That's two great news, I hope, to bring up the mood a bit. And for the community, the waitlist is still in the, in the bio, so sign up if you want to be a part of it. Also a link to read more about it if you don't know what I'm talking about. I think it's time for a Maltese. I also said these things just to drag out the time a bit so I could get more rest. Because I know this is gonna kill me a bit. Oh my fuck! damn frustrating. I almost lose words. I, I'm not the person to get mad, but I can get irritated and frustrated and that's where I'm right now. It just sucks. And the thing sometimes also when you're so damn tired in the muscles and you're doing things, it just feels like you're gonna get injured. You know what I mean? Like even if it's the same movement, I'm probably not having bad form, just that I'm feeling weak. It feels like the arms just gonna rip apart because I don't feel that connection the strength and that's what I hate that's why I could most likely push it but it just feels so bad I'm gonna rest and do one more attempt because I want to have a multi soul and if that attempt is just fucking shit like this one as well I will take a thicker band just to get the holes in for the final set yep that's the plan such a good workout, woohoo! Let's give it one more try with this band. can swear too much in one vlog. It's just so damn bad. <sighs> well, yep, yeah, I'm gonna switch up, take a thicker band, do one more set. Hopefully that helps. We can get a bit longer holds. It's just so bad. And if I'm not getting you know, at least a few second holds, it's not giving me anything. Wish me good luck. If this thicker band can't help me, nothing can, so. Okay. Ah, wake up. Well, at least the hold was better. It, feels, it still feels so damn bad. It's like my body is just totally gassed out. I could most likely fall asleep. It's crazy. Now my mindset is of course also tired. Yesterday was one of these workouts where it changed from me being super motivated, thinking it was gonna be a good one, to just get absolutely crushed. I'm actually gonna move straight on to the, the dips. Just weigh the dips. I'm not gonna do any more plunge press today, it's, it's not worth it. Like, in the state I'm right now, it's barely recognize myself. So, I'm just gonna do the dips, which I do enjoy, and then call it a day. At least dips is something I really enjoy to do. So, these last three sets of the day is gonna be fun. Hopefully they're pretty solid as well. Usually dips, I don't necessarily have to be on top performers to perform them but who knows today has just been a weird day these ones might also be a bit off either way hopefully they are working better than the plunge
definitely feel a bit heavier than usual, but still doable. That's the thing with dips, like you can't push through it, but with planche holds, Maltese, one arm handstand, you gotta have your mind and the body pretty damn right to even be near it. But dips and pull-ups in general, you can some really just push it. And the truth is that I feel some slight pain in this shoulder, which is not good at all. I'm gonna do one last set, but it's just gonna be body weight, I think, to get some additional blood flow in this shoulder. It might just be also because something is off with my body today. Everywhere, everything just went so damn bad. So it's definitely not worth pushing the, the last sets. I'm thinking maybe 15 reps, body weight. Just rep it out, get some blood flow, and that's gonna be it for today. Just trying to feel where the pain is. It's basically just in the downwards position. Don't feel it here, just here. So, don't think it's too bad. This was a true grind. This was by far the worst workout I think ever since I started with the vlogs. And that's two and a half months. The good thing from this is though that you got to see what it is when I have my shittiest days. Because this wasn't the first one I've had over my period. So you know, training years. These types of workouts, when it's just your bodies, you barely recognize yourself. They occur from time to time, a few times per year, maybe. Today was one of them. It sucks. I did my best. I did skip one exercise, the planche press with, uh, with bands. But then again, I did do the planche press to one arm handstand and all the sets. So, some degree still pretty good. A double bicep, wrap it up, but I have literally zero pump. And tricep. Did also learn should be behind the back. Last time I did it like this, I think. But behind it, it's way better. I better know what to say today. Now I literally just want to go home, eat, and get back on track, get good sleep. I know what it is, but these workouts occur. It's just literally pushing through them and making the best. Like I also adapted one workout, one exercise by taking a thicker band. That's one way, it's absolutely fine. Sort of, this workout sort of becomes like a deload, which probably is good, because when the body is tired, it usually means that it's time to rest. You are usually tired because of, or for a reason. I think that's gonna be it. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like, because like I said, a freestyle vlog is coming out pretty soon, and uh, you don't want to miss that, because that, those ones are pretty rare. See you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.